Hi, welcome back to Life in Angela. Today, I am going to be doing a thrift haul for you. Now, I don't remember the prices of these pieces, but if you do want me to style any of these pieces for future videos, let me know in the comments below which piece you want me to style. And don't forget, I want to stay connected with you, so make sure you check out my Instagram and TikTok, Life in Angela, of course. So before we continue on with the thrift haul, I do want to let you know of a few updates that I have in my life. Okay, so one, I have finally launched my portfolio site. Everything is not on there, but if I waited until I put everything on there, I probably wouldn't launch the site because I have a lot of projects and a lot of skills. Um, that's not to like boast or brag, but Perfectionism is a hard thing for me, so I'm trying to push past that and just do. I also have graphic design services that I provide. So check that out in the link below. It's gonna be um, Amal Studios. The next thing that I have for you guys is that I started a podcast. So if you sometimes have trouble sleeping and, or you just like to listen to calm stuff to fall asleep, that podcast is for you. It's called Sleep Well, the podcast. I read scriptures very calmly and they're about 10 minutes long, but they're so calm and soothing. And I've also heard friends tell me that they love listening to it to fall asleep and it just knocks them out. So check that out. And lastly, I am throwing an art exhibit next year. If you did not know, I will put the link to the landing page in the description, but I am in need of sponsors. So if you would like to be generous and donate, or if you'd like to become a sponsor, which comes with added benefits, check out the link below and it'll be well worth it. I promise. All right, so let's get to it for the main course. This is a scarf that I got, obviously, thrifting. Um, it's brown and black a little bit of white detail it's really cute you can style this a couple different ways and depending on how i'm feeling and the weather i'll either wrap it around my neck or i'll just let it hang you know you can be really cute and minimal if i'm feeling different i'll wrap it around my waist you know sometimes you need that extra shape and add a cute bow you know and I just feel delicate and feminine and different sometimes that's all you want to do is feel different I got a few different scarves. I got this one, and then I also got this scarf. Totes cute. I don't know, I like the leopard print on it, and I like the brown tones, and it was just really cute. And this is my favorite way to fold a scarf, whether I'm putting it around my neck or around my head as a headband. It's my absolute favorite, so you getting a sneak peek. Then, let me tell you, I saw, well, okay, so as you know, I love thrifting in the mini section and 
I usually go there for oversized blazers or oversized button downs and this one here. Mm -mm -mm. So I got this suit for less than 20 bucks, probably less than 16. And um, it was long pants, but it had like a stain on the bottom of it. So as soon as I got home, I cut that right off. And I do plan to hem the bottom of the pants because, you know, my background is fashion design, if you did not know. Um, and so I'm going to hem the bottom of the pants so that it can be a cute, like, shorts suit set, oversized blazer short suit set. And I'm also going to take in the sides as well so that it can fit me at, like, a high-waisted level. And it's going to be super cute. And I'm probably gonna wear that in the summer and sweat a lot, but it's, it'll be worth it. And I will also be wearing this in the fall too, with some cute boots. The next thing I got was this very vintage throwback blazer. And I love it because I love like the patchwork print on it and I also like the embellishment on the front collar. It's just really cute. It's simple because of like the, the color scheme, but it has its like extra flair with the details. So I thought it was really cool and I know I'm gonna look so different when I wear it. This next piece is definitely a piece that I feel so 90s when I put it on. It's this white and black house to um, vest. I thought it was really cute. I haven't been into vests since middle school. I'm like, I have like a cute crop denim vest and I haven't worn one since then. But this one, I must say, it caught my eye. And I think it's because I'm very into like the oversized blazers and I saw this in that section and I was like hmm I could try this I could try it so if you want to see a few more outfits in that let me know because I definitely already have a reel on my revel in a mall that's my brand on that um Instagram account so if you want me to actually do some videos with that let me know in the comments this next piece is a North Face hoodie. You know those are warm. I wore that in the summer. Bad idea, bad idea, but it's so cute. I came across this really cool thrift store called M Exchange, somewhere in Ohio, and in Cleveland, somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. And it was a full hoodie, you know, um, but I really wasn't feeling that. So I decided as soon as I got home, I was like, and I cut it into a prop hoodie. And it's cute. It's cute, right? It's cute. I would probably wear it with some high waist pants or a cute high waisted silk skirt that was like kind of mid length with some sneakers. Are you feeling it? And the next blazer that I have is this really nice olive green wool blazer and I can't wear that now but that color is so pretty and it's gonna look great during the fall time just saying and it's gonna keep me warm so that way I can do my little bits of layering And as you can see here, I decided to push up the sleeve because I'm wearing a mesh top under the dress. And I thought it would be a cool detail to add with this look. And I definitely will wear it in the future. You should too. This next piece is, I believe it's a men's because the tag says slip fit. Um, it's really oversized on me. I usually only get 
like oversized button downs from the men's section so that's why I think it's the men's section and it's just super cute I might tie it up wear it with some high-waisted pants wear it with some biker shorts who knows wear it with like one of these things one of these type bras um, like the sports bra look open with the biker shorts are you feeling it and then the next so the next piece oh my gosh i really love this i've definitely worn this a couple of times on my instagram you may have seen it already um i usually wear it with black pants just the easiest because the print is a little bit out there but it's so cute it's silk it is so soft it's so elegant and feminine and i just love wearing it don't ask me why i just do and it's in my color scheme you know that that black kind of white cream I, I just love those tones i just love that color scheme a lot of the items that i have in my closet if they're not color it's that print or that color scheme and last but not least i got a really nice white button down a classic that you can't go wrong with super cute i can wear it with anything and um yeah oh i left that's not the last thing and this cute elegant sophisticated black top um i got from a thrift store the last time I was in New York and I just love this piece it's easy to wear as a casual piece or dressy I can do whatever pretty much the main reason that I love it is because I got it so cheap now I can't remember the exact price but I definitely was around $10 The last thing is this green oversized men's button down. Um, I believe it's an extra large. I don't know, I'm addicted, I can't help it, you know? But I'm gonna style this. I don't know how yet. Actually, I have an idea. I have this cute black, like pleated skirt from Super Dry. Right? Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be, ooh, I don't know yet, but I bought these cowboy boots. Let me tell you, I will be wearing those cowboy boots probably with everything or I don't know, but I'm going to. Funny thing is, um, I, I was kind of nervous about getting the cowboy boots um, cause I was like, do black women wear cowboy boots? I have not seen that. I'm from Miami and I lived in New York for so long. Um, so I just never saw that and I, I thought it might be weird. Um, and I didn't want people judging. I messaged a stylist on Instagram. I follow her YouTube, Raven Roberts, the stylist. So I like messaged her on Instagram and she was nice enough to message me back. And so I asked her if like black women wear cowboy boots and she definitely was like girl we can wear anything we want and that just made me think like no angela stop overthinking about what people think about you and what you wear and what you do and what you say and what you think you cannot control people's reactions to you you can only control yourself and what you put out okay so that's my uh life tip for you in this video all right if you like this video please give it a like um please share it and please subscribe i would love to see you back here um for any future thrift hauls or any other art projects or life that i may have going on so um yeah i want to connect with you 
And just a reminder, if you do want to connect with me on other social sites, my Instagram and TikTok are both Life and Angela. My brand, my art apparel and design brand is called Revel in a Mall. I will link that down below. And that is Revel in a Mall on Instagram and on TikTok, it's Shop Revel in a Mall. And my podcast is called Sleep Well, the podcast. Don't worry, I won't be doing all of these things at the end of each video, or I, maybe I will. Shameless plug, listen. Gotta get on my shameless Maya. And I also have an Instagram that's purely design page and it's called a mall studios underscore. And I will also put the link to that website, that portfolio website in the description as well. Anyway, have a great day.